Hi guys, welcome back to The Lucy Show. So today is more of like a stream that I just kind of want to leave on here. Um, I went out yesterday and had brunch with a good friend and we were chatting and I was just kind of like explaining to her what happened for the duration of time that we didn't see each other and it's been a while. It's been like at least four or five months and I like explained like obviously the traumatic experience of having my YouTube channel deleted, uh, Living With Lucy, for those of you guys that don't know, um, that was my main channel with 35,000 subscribers. But the main thing that I was sad about is because I have so many videos on there and I was just really upset that it felt completely unfair. And that's how I described it. So when I was saying that, obviously she felt very bad for me, um, like everybody does when they hear it and they're like, oh my gosh, that sucks. Like I, f I feel so sorry for you. Um, hope everything's like okay now and as I was saying it and as I kind of like blamed the world and I said you know I don't know why this stuff happens to me like I didn't do anything wrong I know I didn't break any rules like this is so unfair as I was saying that for like the thou thousandth time um, I just kind of like hurt myself and then I realized that it's funny how I say I don't deserve it when bad things happen. Um, hi there, low roller scratcher. Uh, yeah, no, I'm just waiting. They're, I asked them if I will get an answer by the end of 2024 and apparently Google support says they can't say. Uh, so I realized like, and what I wanna share with you guys is more of like how, and I hope it helps somebody out. That's why I even do these videos. Um, I feel like a lot of the times when things go wrong, either I wonder like what I did in order, hi there, Luke's car in stocks. Um, first off, when things go wrong, I don't know about you guys, but I think a lot of people, um, including myself, will first think, and I've already done that, I will first think, okay, I didn't deserve it. Why did this happen to me? Like, did I do something wrong that I didn't think I did wrong, but in like, the realm of the universe like I did something wrong and therefore this is happening to me that's like automatic like my number one thing that like pops into my mind like oh my gosh something really bad just happened what did I do to deserve it um and then afterwards even after all those thoughts and even if I can tell myself okay I didn't deserve it like sometimes things just happen bad things just happen I just end up thinking like oh you know like things just go bad but it sucks you can't control it like things just unfortunately go bad and like I don't deserve it, but like, whatever, it happens. So that's kind of like how I've been seeing this entire thing for the last almost three months that I've had my channel deleted. I just always feel like, <laughs> Luke's car in stock says BCH pump to 230. Yeah, my SO told me that. I was so amazed because I was like, when he first he told me, he's like, oh, did you know that like Bitcoin Cash went to like increase by like 100%? I was like, so? I'm like, everything did. I'm like, if you bought Tesla prior, you're higher up than 150% by now, right? So I wasn't really impressed, but then he told me like it shot up in one day. So you literally could have bought it like the day before for Bitcoin Cash and then just like 2 x So I do find that impressive for whoever bought it. I did not. Um, I hope that happens to Doge though, but like, you know, 10 x instead. Anyways, um, so the way I always viewed everything that went wrong in my life, including how I explain it to others and explain it in my own mind, to just kind of get over things with this whole like losing YouTube and just really anything that goes wrong um, in my life. I feel like I always just say like, "Ugh, I don't deserve it, but bad things happen. It's unfortunate, but I just have to deal. And then I realized today, like, and I was here and as I was hearing myself say that yesterday, that it's silly because we usually only think like, okay, we don't deserve this when it's bad. But what about all the good moments? Like what about all of the amazing things that happen to me and to you guys? And we don't really second guess that. You know, it's like if, if I won the lottery tomorrow, like a week ago me would have been like, yeah, I totally deserve it. Like I deserve it because I go and buy it. And a lot of people who make fun of it, I have some friends who make fun of anybody who buys lotteries uh, <laughs> they call it the idiot charity um 
but I would think of it as like I did it and other people didn't therefore I deserve it and that's how I felt about like honestly all of my trades too like especially in 2021 when like a stock would go from three dollars to thirty dollars six dollars to sixty doge would go from one less than one cent to like 75 cents i would just think of it as like i deserve it because i made that choice and like i find that that's where life gets hard and it's easy to not be grateful anymore when you think that everything that good that happens is like has nothing to do with you deserving it or not you think you 100 percent deserve it at least that's how i felt without even realizing it i feel like my whole life i just feel like anything good that happens insanely good like basically winning the lottery i would feel like i deserve it you know like i'm like i'm a good person this should be happening to me 100 percent. i never think why is this happening to me did I deserve this? Did I deserve the fact that this crypto just moved up like 100x and I made so much money? Um, I don't think about that stuff. So because I don't do that, I also shouldn't question like, do I deserve having a bad thing happen? Like, I feel like the best way to go about life is just to appreciate more and appreciate like every good thing that happens and instead of feeling like and not to say like you shouldn't feel like you deserve things but like sometimes when really good things happen I need to focus more on how rare that also is like a lot of people out there have good days and bad days obviously throughout the year but there are a lot of the times when people just can't like win they can't catch a break which honestly is like what I've been feeling like for the last half a year or so I just feel like I can't catch a break with like anything that I'm doing everything that I'm trying it's not that everything doesn't go well but it's not going as well as I hope and that's really like a negative spiral so I'm just sharing that with you guys hopefully you can put it to use yourself and just like catch yourself in the moments when like really good things happen instead of thinking all of the great moments you absolutely deserve it and then all of the bad moments you don't deserve a single bit of it maybe just don't think about the word like deserve or you don't deserve and go along with every moment and just be appreciative of all of the great things that happen to you or you, whether you worked really hard to get it I feel like no matter how hard you work in a sense there's there is a luck factor and sometimes things are just uncontrollable right like you could be you could have just created like the best startup company and you're about to go and get your patent you could be driving there and you could get into a car accident boom done it's over your life is over like anything can happen and it's so much of it is like out of our reach hi there eric the dream giver welcome to the stream that really the only way to be more appreciative of life and get more out of life i feel like is not to question when great things happen that you somehow like the world owes it to you or you this all of this stuff should be happening all the time and just be thankful because at any given point obviously something could go very wrong and i think i don't know who said this quote but i've seen it many times online it's it goes something like wise people this is not word for word because <laughs> i've forgotten it already but the gist of it is people that are wise know that as good things happen there's still tons of things that are completely out of your reach and out of your control and if you are going to be upset about every little thing that is out of your control and just kind of dwell upon it for the rest of your life then you'll never know true happiness and that's kind of like what a fool does whereas a wise person just prepares and can react properly to the wrong things that go on in life so just wanted to share that with you guys. I just felt like as much as I feel that I have gotten over a lot of like negative things that happened in my life and also because I think that to like my short term memory in a sense, like I don't think about a lot of sad things often, like after it's happened and occurred for like a few years um, or even a couple of months, I just like don't think about it or I forget about it, which is really good. Other years of my life, like I'll still have bad thoughts like of things that happened in the past like it'll 
kind of rise up from the ashes and I'll be re-reminded of that. And it could kind of blow my day during the middle um, of an awesome day, but it happens. At the end of the day, I just think that my overall happiness and my overall mental health is much better when I try to appreciate all the good things, even in the past, that I didn't necessarily deserve. It was just like a lot of it is just lucky moments that could have happened in my life, you know? So I wanna share that with you guys. Okay, hold on. Let me look at some of the chats because I'm using my phone. I still can't log on with my computer for YouTube, so that's why everything is all the chats i can't see it fully lucy how do you feel being a woman compared to being a silly girl you're welcome i still think i'm a silly girl luke so um <laughs> i guess that answers it hi there alan welcome to the stream hey lucy i'm also sad and feel bad that you lost your first youtube channel sean says oh thank you um i hope that you know again i still have hope that i'll get it back but i'm also well prepared like obviously as you guys can see i've been posting everything just like all the stuff that i would have posted even things about like stocks or crypto or finance on this channel now the lucy show it's more just kind of like the ocd in me that's annoyed because if i do get my channel back i feel like i have to put in all this work to like move all these videos that don't belong on this channel hi there six lines that to move all these videos that don't belong on this channel to the other one. I feel like that's the only thing that kind of bothers me. It's like, it doesn't belong here. So like the OCD in me just doesn't really want to put all of my videos on like this one channel. And for some reason I can't make more playlists either on my phone. I have to like somehow get access on my computer and I don't know why, but this channel, I can't get access on the computer. I can only really use it on my phone right now. So just gonna do that for a while. Um, and yeah, I do hope, I do hope that either way, whatever YouTube decides, whatever Google decides, I just, I do want an answer because it kind of does suck. Like, you know, just having everything hang on like this. Um, I was super jealous and took the channel away. <laughs> he is not that powerful. He can't take away my YouTube channel. Um, but no, my SO and the people around me all support what I do. Like, I feel like my also always supported me like doing YouTube and like all my social media accounts, which I just, honestly just, I love and it's a little selfish, but I feel like I do a lot of it for myself. Like <laughs> to me, it's just like taking a picture um, of my food that I go out to eat. Like doing these videos is just because I think I'm thick skin enough to do it. I know a lot of people, like I still do worry about like, oh, how do I look? Oh my God, my double chin. Like I feel really awkward looking back at any of my videos. Like I usually mute, mute it. Like, you know how when you upload a video on like, YouTube shorts or TikToks, people have to usually review it, right? After I've reviewed it and I post it, I try not to like look at it again because like my, I feel like my own voice like annoys me. <laughs> I don't know if that's true for anybody else, but mine does. So like I am okay with hearing the sound of my own voice when I am speaking because it sounds different from like when you hear it played back on a video. I'm okay with like talking and hearing myself speak, but then when I hear it back through like a recorded live stream in YouTube, I'm just like, no, I hate it. So, but I do this because I feel like it's the same thing as like recording memories. And then one day, I always say this, like I take all these pictures and videos and I tell myself that one day when I'm like 95 years old, I'll be really bored and I won't want to watch Netflix which doesn't seem realistic because I feel like Netflix is never ending and I keep watching more and more shows and I just don't have enough time for like all these shows. But I like to tell myself this lie that one day when I'm really, really old and I can't move anymore and I don't want to watch any TV shows, maybe I can't afford Netflix by then because it'll probably be a hundred dollars a month. I don't know. But I like to say that I can look back at my own content <laughs> when I'm old. And I can show it to my future, hopefully, children, children's children. They could be like, that's our great grandma talking to herself in her little home on a live stream. If that's even a thing in the future, I don't know. I hope it is. I hope this will always be a thing. But yeah, that's why I enjoy it. And I'm never like going to stop. But I do hope my unselfish part of it is that I feel... Like I do wanna do things that make me feel productive in the day. And by doing these videos, 
whether you guys are watching, no matter how many people is watching, because obviously in the past I've had like thousands of people watching one of my videos during like the same live stream um, duration. And then now there's like 10 of you guys and I'm fine with that. To me, it's not about like the number. Obviously I don't mind having like a hundred million followers like Elon Musk. I think he has like 144 million or something like that right now on Twitter. Obviously more is fine, but to me it's like I feel passionate and I feel good and productive about making videos that can even make like one person learn something, be entertained, or feel less alone, or feel like they can connect with me or ask me a question on something and I could be helpful. So that to me is very, very important and why I think I will always do live streams and videos whenever I feel like it though. I don't think of it as a job or like I have to do it. I don't feel like I have to do anything. Um, so like if I do a stream once a month, um, four times a month, I just kind of go by whatever works out for my schedule. And like I've just been busy all day. I was busy yesterday. So I just do it when I can. Um, and then short videos are obviously easier because I could just like record anywhere. Um, TikToks, TikToks take me like no time. So I feel like those videos are just like really quick and I could do it all the time. So I'll always kind of be around. And for anybody who likes to chat more like in the live streams, just know like you can either join and become a community member here. So your name would be more highlighted when I look at the comments on YouTube. But I try to respond on like Twitter, which is absolutely free. Um, yeah, to everybody as much as I can. But sorry if I don't get to your messages because obviously between Instagram and Twitter and like Patreon and all my different platforms that you can find down in the description below, it's just impossible for me to get back to like every single human being, <laughs> but I try. Um, anyways, thank you all so much for joining me on this stream. I do want to leave it off with if anyone's looking for something like Black Mirror, because obviously Black Mirror was only like five episodes, right? I loved every single one of it. Um, but I felt like it was too short. I was like, we waited this long for only five episodes. So it's okay. I'm a little upset that, you know, it's kind of short, but if you love Black Mirror like me and you want to look at something that's similar i think the closest thing to black mirror if you do like black mirror um you would probably enjoy love death and robots it's like love death plus robots on netflix i'm almost done i think there's like three volumes i started with one two and now i'm on the third volume almost done i wouldn't say you'll enjoy every single episode if you love like the black mirror style but what i do like about love death and robots is that you get different um like different visuals for each episode. Every episode is different, just like in Black Mirror, it has its own story, but you have different like animations, for example. You have like a cartoon style, but then you have like high-end, digital, realistic, like, um, or anime type of style. And then there's one episode, I think, with like real people. And I think that guy from that 70s show is in there. I forgot his real life actor name but there's like one episode with like real people most of it is like all digital so it kind of feels like um ai artwork in a black mirror episode so that's love death and robots for you but i think it's so creative i even though i don't like every single episode and some of it is very confusing I like most of them. I think it's definitely worth a watch. At least definitely check out volume one and two and see if you like it, skip around the episodes. And they're relatively short. So each episode is honestly like six minutes. Rarely you'll have an episode for like 20 minutes. A lot of them are just like 12 minutes, six minutes. So it's just like a quick watch, especially if you're trying to sleep early, earlier, like, like I am. I just binge it though. I like watched all three volumes. I'll finish all three volumes within like three days. But yeah, take care. See you guys soon. And I hope you had a lovely weekend.